a chondag nam duliak is mita kankyalorum. Tai go coin a chin for mother, a chrenich a lister so cogavin jiak among pelie. A skilaporic, a gaf brieren, Hippocrates is Dioscorides, Avicenna is Platiarius, Gomeshnichel and Gaelic. I'm Meg Bateman and I'm a lecturer at Solmorostig. I'm from Edinburgh originally and I went to Aberdeen University and did a Celtic degree. And then the last 23 years I've been living in Skye. Now I don't write very much poetry, so a commission like this to think about a manuscript was was interesting to start thinking about things from a different angle. By some amazing coincidence, it was the manuscript I'd written my undergraduate thesis about in 1982. It is a Gaelic um, pharmacopoeia. It's written in classical Gaelic, which is the learned lingua franca form of Gaelic that learned families use between North East Scotland and South West Ireland, so they could all communicate with each other. It's vellum, so it has that fusty smell. Um, some of the pages have been stained, so you really are engaging with the reality of other people's lives, the physicality of other people's lives. There was that, but it was also kind of scary because it's difficult to read. The words run together, there aren't gaps between words, and they use lots of abbreviations for common endings. It took me a long time to get in the way of reading it, it was good to revisit it in the last couple of years without that pressure of scholarship and just to th just being able to think um, what it meant at an emotional level. In a nutshell, it's about respecting our place in the environment. Especially in the West, we've been far too greedy at grabbing everything for ourselves in nature as a, as a resource and not putting things back. So that's what my prayer at the end is for, and I think that's really what the, what the poem is about. I don't know if I quite recognised that when I wrote it, but in retrospect, because any poem will combine an intellectual and an emotional response, so immediately will give people some sense of the relevance of the object to their lives today, and they, of course, then will go off on their own tangents.